Last time on Total Drama The Top 100, every team had to elect someone to face their fears. Mike told the entire team he has multiple personality disorders, Sierra proved she could live without Cody for an hour, Joe got in touch with her feminine side, Emma revealed that she still liked Chase, Jen watched her rug be destroyed, Sammy told her sister off, Rodney revealed his true love, Tyler revealed he wasn't afraid of chickens anymore, and finally Leonard fought a dragon and won for his team. But despite all of these amazing accomplishments, Alejandro couldn't tell his team what he truly thought of them, meaning they had to go to elimination, and Jasmine was blindsided by Alejandro's group, sending her out early. Chris welcomes them to their next challenge. It is the famous episode 8 challenge, Up the Creek. Izzy blurts out saying she knows what happens in this episode, and Chris says of course you do, before continuing. The first four teams to make it to Boney Island may leave, and they don't have to compete in what the rest of the challenge holds. Scott in Confessional says that he wouldn't mind going back to elimination, but Lashana had spoken to Junior and said that he threw challenges to get people out. So to make sure he stays on his good side, he needs to try his hardest today. Lashana in Confessional says says that this challenge will be easy. Scott hasn't done an honest day's work in his entire life. This will be easy to frame him. Scarlett asks Sanders to join her in a canoe, and Sanders says she will, but why did she pick her specifically? And Scarlett says that Sanders is a strong competitor with a physical job and background, so she can do great here. Harold goes with Lori, and after some talking, he asks why she is vegan since she likes the taste of meat. Lori says that it's her way of thanking the universe. Animals aren't meant to be eaten. Harold says in response that almost all animals engage in some some form of a destruction of life. Eating animals just puts us on their level. Honestly, not eating animals goes against human nature to begin with and makes you less in tune with Mother Nature. Ennui is paddling with Ella and they are actually getting along quite well, all things considered. Both of them understanding each other in a weird type of tranquil way. Dawn is with Dwayne and Damien and Dwayne asks how this team has been so successful and Dawn says that everyone here enjoys each other's company. It really fixes the potential problems when everyone likes each other. Duncan is telling stories to Pete and Pete says in confessional that Duncan is a riot. He turned out to be quite the troublemaker, and Pete was as well back in his day. Topher is talking to Heather, and he asks how he can become a fan favorite like her, and Heather says that he tries too hard. He's just a cheap copy of Chris. He needs to be better than Chris entirely. And also, maybe some strategy will do him some good. Topher asks Heather if she would like to be in an alliance with him, and she says no. Scott is rowing the canoe with Lashana before Lashana hits a hole into the canoe, and he asks what she's doing, and Lashana says that she's getting him out. Scott quickly jumps out and begins pushing it. Emma and Gwen are together, and Gwen asks how they can get one of the dweebs out, and Emma says that they really only need five votes for majority. They could probably get Caleb, Zoe, and MK, and that makes five right there. If Gwen gave him her bra, Lorenzo would probably vote with them as well. Gwen says that it wouldn't be the first time. Z, Leonard, and Ezekiel are together, where Leonard is recounting his great adventures with Tammy. Both Ezekiel and Z believe these tales wholeheartedly, with Z in confessional saying how Leonard must be super wise and powerful. Alejandro was with Jay, and he asks Jay how he's doing, but Jay says that he's fine. What about him? Alejandro drops the act and asks if Jasmine said anything about him, but Jay is confused, asking if he liked her or something. He's sorry to say, but Jasmine already has a boyfriend. Alejandro says that that's a shame, but in confessional he says that he's happy Jasmine never realized how much of a threat he truly was. Stacy, Courtney, and Scary Girl are all in a canoe together, and Stacy is talking, saying that her great 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 grandfather invented the first paddleboard by shaving down a tree log. Before that, people had to use their hands or feet to maneuver themselves. Courtney and confessional says that if they lose today, Stacy is going down. Stacy is about to begin another one, but Scary Girl says that if she doesn't stop talking, she'll get hurt, and Stacy stops. Jeff in Confessional says that his team really gets along the best out of all of them. Justin is with Brick and Rodney, and Justin asks Rodney how the love life's been treating him, and Rodney says it's great. He sees Mary in everything, the sky, the grass, the slop chef makes. He can't get enough of her. Brick says that's great, but don't let it get in the way of the challenge, and Rodney says he knows that. If he loses, then he can't see Mary again. Justin asks how many times they've seen each other, and Rodney says just once, but it may as well have been 10,000 lifetimes. Tyler is with Sean and Izzy, and Izzy is talking about how she remembers everything about this episode, but Tyler wasn't there, and Tyler points out he was eliminated in the episode before that. While Izzy rambles, Sean asks Tyler why he bothers to hang around people like Trent or Raj. In 88% of zombie movies, the musician and group of jocks die first, or around the midpoint of the movie. Tyler says that he hasn't exactly given the thought of a zombie apocalypse much 
much thought. Sean in Confessional says that Tyler could be a great asset to his team, but he needs to get his head into the game. The first teams to arrive to Boney Island are the Flaming Cockroaches, Excited Ants, Drowning Mosquitoes, and Hopping Stink Bugs. Scott almost made it in time, but his team made it fifth. Sky asked how they could be last, and Lashana said that Scott hit a hole into the canoe. Scott tries fighting it, but he's out of energy. Chris then tells them that for the next part of their challenge, they must go and find their campgrounds, where they will light a fire. The first four teams to make fire can go back home leisurely while the rest race to not be last. When faced with the natural wildlife of Boney Island, Dawn and Ella are both able to calm the creatures who are just aggressive due to their fear of new creatures. They will light their fire and be on their way. Dwayne says to let him do this, this is a job built for men. After a few minutes of nothing, Amy pushes him aside and Mary uses her glasses to light up the fire with the sun. Mary and Professional says that it's simple science, when, and then it cuts off right there. Scheming flies are trying their best, but nobody can make a flame. Joe says that Duncan surely can do one, but Duncan says that he can't make one without a lighter. Elodie is about to propose her idea, but Priya shows up and quickly lights a fire. Joe asks how she did that, and Priya said that as a kid, her parents left her in dangerous locations to fend for herself all the time. Joe in Confessional says that that girl is incredibly useful. She needs to keep that in mind for the future. Priya in Confessional says that she's so happy she got to be useful, especially around Total Drama legends like Lindsay and Duncan. And also Joe. I guess. Mediocre mealworms do it easily as Axel has enough survival training to make one, made even easier by Beth offering her glasses. On the ravenous spider, Scott gets a small flame and is trying to keep it lit, but Lashana covers it with dirt, killing it before yelling that Scott has sabotaged the flame. Junior asks why he keeps doing this and Scott says he doesn't before storming off to the beach. Silent Crickets are lucky to have Izzy and Sean as Izzy is able to drop her homemade fire starter, allowing their team to get the final available win. Lashana goes with Scott and says that he won't be much help to them now. She will make sure they can't get back to camp. Scott says that that's fair. DJ will be his partner now, and she will go with Sky. DJ says sure to that, and Lashana is shocked as Scott takes her spot. On Tenacious Earwigs, Courtney says that they should try pushing them all together, and Scurry Girl says she will do it. Ravenous Spiders and Tenacious Earwigs are against each other in a race. It seems that Tenacious Earwigs are winning, but Scott says it's not his usual style, but he will do something for the team today. And he hits Scary Girl across the head with his paddle halting her progress enough for the ravenous spiders to make it. When Tenacious Earwigs do make it back, Scary Girl chases after Scott. Scott in Confessional says that he wouldn't usually do that, but he was the one going home if they lost. At Elimination, Chris tells them that the marshmallows indicate life. If they do not receive a marshmallow, they must walk the dog of shame, board the boat of losers, and they can't come back. Ever. Here's Chef to tell you how bad you all messed up. Stacy, you're talking annoyed other people. Jeff. You were the leader, yet you really don't lead. You just say how great your team is. Jeff in Confessional says that that's true. His team is great, but even good teams have bad days, and he needs to be there for them. And Scary Girl. You are a scary girl. You also put Scott in a full body cast. Enough said. Now here's who is safe. Anne Maria. Sammy. Kelly. Nichelle. Courtney. Jock. Ryan. You all are safe with not a single vote against you. And finally, the remaining three. First one safe is Jeff. And finally, the person eliminated is... Stacy. Stacy is disheartened, but stands up proud to have lasted longer than she did initially. She thanks everyone for a good time and leaves. Courtney in Confessional says that she basically runs this team now. She has Jeff, Nichelle, Sammy, Kelly, Ryan, and herself, which makes the majority. Nichelle in Confessional says that she didn't forget anything that Courtney has done. Next elimination, she's the one going. Let her think she's all comfortable. That'll make the defeat all the more satisfying. The votes are as follows. Jeff voted Scary Girl for what she did to Scott. Anne Maria voted Jeff for being annoying. Sammy voted Stacy due to Courtney's suggestion. Kelly voted Stacy due to Courtney's suggestion. Nichelle voted Stacy due to Courtney's suggestion. Courtney voted Stacy for being annoying. Stacy voted Scary Girl for what she did to Scott. Jack voted Scary Girl for what she did to Scott. Ryan voted Stacy due to Courtney's suggestion. And Scary Girl voted to Stacy for being annoying. And with that, episode 7 is finished. What did you think? Question of the week. Which of these 10 member teams do you think will go to elimination first? Amber Scorpions, Mediocre Mealworms, or Excited Ants? And who will go? If you are unaware of who's on the teams, there's a whole cast list in the description. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments, and I'll see you all next time on Total Drama, the top 100.